Welcome back. This is Lake Tahoe TV News. I'm Robert T. Scott. With so many visitors coming up to the Lake Tahoe region for winter activities, here's a reminder to take adequate food, water, and clothing with you anytime you'll be out in the snow or in the backcountry. The Washoe County Sheriff's Office and Incline Fire Department were called in to find a snowshoer that got lost near Chickadee Ridge off of the Mount Rose Highway. They were able to locate her by pinging her cell phone. She had with her no food, water, or clothing adequate for the snow, according to the Sheriff's Office. Rescuers were able to walk her out. That area of the Mount Rose Highway gets very busy with people playing in the snow and hiking around. The Sheriff's Office said people should understand that cell phone batteries can run down quickly in cold weather, so bringing a charger is a good idea. Also, letting others know where you will be and when you will return can help rescuers in case you ever do get lost. Another rescue took place in Placer County, west of Lake Tahoe, when a man driving an off-road snow vehicle got stuck in deep snow. Placer County Sheriff's deputies on snowmobiles responded near the China Wall OHV area and found the man. Even that thing can get stuck in the snow. Deputies were able to tow him out. Thousands of Tahoe and Truckee residents engage in the time-honored tradition of removing snow from their driveways with their own snowblowers. That doesn't come without risks, of course. But add a new one, the possibility of amputation. Yikes. Toro just issued a recall notice for thousands of 2021 PowerMax snow throwers. The company says the auger may fail to disengage, resulting in a risk of amputation to the user. The model number is 37802 and were sold at the Home Depot and Ace Hardware stores. Contact Toro for repair information. Rush Limbaugh was a polarizing figure in American talk radio and politics. He was broadcast locally and heard throughout the Truckee Tahoe region. His brand of entertainment often included racist, hate-laced, and xenophobic remarks. He even made fun of Michael J. Fox's battle with Parkinson's disease. Limbaugh died on February 17th. Later that same morning, Lake Tahoe Area Congressman Tom McClintock issued a statement thanking Limbaugh for his inspiration. McClintock just last week made overtly racist and xenophobic statements while in committee hearings on immigration. The Placer County Board of Supervisors has approved a plan to pay homeowners to deed restrict their properties so they can only be sold to local workers. The plan is part of an ongoing effort by the county to find solutions to the workforce housing shortage. The plan for the East County, including North Shore residents, is modeled after a similar program in Vail, Colorado. That program has proven successful in making more homes available to workers in Vail, which bears many similarities to Lake Tahoe. The county says that 90% of homes in the East County are second homes. The program is expected to start this spring and cost $3 million annually. Forest and park trailheads in Washoe County have seen an increasing number of vehicle break-ins. Deputies are looking for these three suspects. They say have been using tools to punch vehicle door locks and steal credit cards. So far in just 10 days, victims have reported over $12,500 in fraudulent charges at big box stores in the Reno area with those stolen credit cards, the sheriff's office says. They advise people to never leave wallets or valuables in their vehicles. Stick around, there's more local news for you coming up in just a bit.